Mahesh Babu is one of the most popular faces of Telugu cinema. Coming from a reputed film family, the individual started his career as a child artist and has went on to pave a very successful career for himself. While the news today might be about how Mahesh Babu feels like Bollywood cannot afford him before stepping into the theatre, one should understand the context behind a film like Sarkar Uvari Pata and why it has been designed a certain way. Mahesh Babu, hailed as a prince by many of his fans, received much of his success through mass commercial cinema. The angry young man, the one versus his 100 billions narrative that were in some cases and still today the rage in telugu cinema whenever mahesh babu has experimented with projects like one it has been met with absolute disdain from the masses the last few ventures i've seen of mahesh babu despite their commercial success were average at best and in some cases atrocious storylines catered to the image of the star rather than the man playing a character marred with regressive and sexist themes and of course the ultimate event of adopting the downtrodden or a village the savior complex being one thing the storylines were just bang average at least in the last 3 or 4 years so sarkaru vari pata actually comes as a treat for mahesh babu fans especially because it is him revisiting the same mass commercial dialogue bazi cinema that made him once famous and that the public hooted and cheered for The film focuses on Mahi played by Mahesh Babu playing the role of the owner of a lending company called Mahi Finance Corporation who stumbles upon Kalavati played by Kirti Suresh. Real intentions get exposed and unforeseen circumstances lead to a full force task to bring an influential businessman with a lot of political clout from Vizag by the name of Rajendranath who has caused severe turmoil to ordinary citizens for his selfish interests the film and the main actor has such a huge fan base that i was trolled on twitter saying that the trailer came across as any generic formulaic forgettable commercial film but today also it shouldn't stop me from calling a spade a spade and telling you exactly how the film is trust me i'm a fan of mass if done right getting right into it here's me telling you the good and bad aspects of this film so that you guys can ultimately decide whether to watch it in theaters or not The good Kalavati you would be lying to yourself if you have not jammed to Kalavati sung beautifully by Sid Sri Ram with a melodious tune of Taman while i think that the rest of the album is bang average and actually one of the misses by an otherwise talented music director like Taman Kalavati definitely stands out as the banger from the album and the only song that deserves the hype at 46 there's no debating that Mahesh Babu looks as young as ever and the choreography and visual portrayal of the song also stands out from the otherwise below average musical pieces dispersed throughout its screenplay more on that a bit later chemistry between the leads I'll be honest I stepped into this film expecting nothing but especially in the first half I was surprisingly entertained Of all the actors that have been paired opposite Mahesh Babu in the last 3 ventures, Kirti Suresh hands down stands as the best for me. The comedic gags where Mahi finds himself unexplainably drawn towards Kalavati only for his friend to constantly stop him in his tracks telling him incessantly that he is getting out of hand account for some really enjoyable sequences. Her first meeting with Mahesh Babu in his office seeking for a loan is genuinely funny and Mahi blushing at everything that she does accounted for actually entertaining moments. It's only in the progression of events and the slog fest that follows in the second half where this movie completely loses its focus taking up too many elements becoming a colossal mishmash of concepts that even fans will be lying to themselves if they confess that they had the best commercial mass experience the underwhelming aspects average music and background score Whenever I think of mass commercial films which present its main character in a larger than life setting all guns blazing the background score that assists not only the entry of the hero but several cues after delivering dialogues and especially the action sequences becomes paramount These movies are essentially designed to develop reactions from the audience and a background score plays a key role in heightening that same experience I know Taman as the man who has shined in most mass films throughout his career and even recently with Vakil Saab and Bhimla Nayak but this score pales in comparison with most of his work not only is it forgettable but it is weak in many regards in riling up the audience to hoot and cheer for the main character especially as he beats up the bad guys as i said i love mass when it's done right but Mahesh Babu's introduction and his action set piece on the beach are assisted with such a thanda background music that it never really has the impact of a mass commercial film even tracks like penny and mama mahesha which is again just a celebration of the star will not be remembered in just a few weeks 
I have to confess though, Kirti Suresh's expressions in Mama Mahesha are next level. She absolutely kills it. Whereas Mahesh Babu is really heavy on his feet and in some parts of the choreography, especially in the song Penny, he's handed over minimal movement, almost like Ajay Devgan in the Singham franchise. Sadly, the music other than Kalavati will really disappoint you. Unless you're a Mahesh Babu fan, then though everything is sheer perfection. Outdated and sexist undertones. You know, there's an entire compilation of Mahesh Babu slapping his heroines in his films on YouTube. Somehow, the content in his films are jarringly different from how he is and what he stands for in real life. Many of the dialogues in this film have outdated and sexist undertones to how a woman should be, and also the dynamic between boys and girls. Mahesh Babu tells Kishore, Loans are like women who wink at us at the bus stop. We won't leave her until she falls for us. When Kirti Suresh asks Mahi why he followed her, he smiles confidently and says, It's a boy thing. To which Kirti Suresh blushes only because Mahesh Babu is attractive, by the way, because no real girl would find that romantic in any way, she would get the creeps otherwise. For Mahi, a perfect woman is the cookie cutter traditional woman from TV serials, and anything that deviates from that, having any vices, he doesn't consider them to be women. The second half has an entire comedic gag with Kirti Suresh, where she just becomes an object being tossed around for the hero's whims and fancies. And the switch for both the characters to be emotionally drawn to each other is so abrupt that it actually takes away from what the filmmaker established in the first half. Mahesh Babu's physical violence is more warranted in this movie compared to his other ventures, but the creepy ordering around and rowdyism becomes excessive in this romantic subplot. Over the top action. I had said one of the main reasons for the success of RRR and KGF was the conviction with which it choreographed and edited its action set pieces, while at the same time investing the audience in the narrative so that the leap of faith for gravity defying stunts is not that difficult. Where those two films excelled, this movie terribly fails. The action sequences in this film are not only terribly edited but poorly choreographed, not even working from a mass commercial level standpoint and actually being unintentionally funny. This is true for Mahesh Babu's introduction scene, the action set piece on the beach, the truck sequence as well as rolling around in a chair with wheels while the bunch of keys are his weapon. This is when over the top just doesn't work because the screenplay itself is not strong enough to pull you in and convince you that a money lender can pull off these action set pieces. Preachy second half and disperse focus. As is the case with most mass commercial pot boilers in Telugu cinema, they want to pack in everything. Everything from action, comedy, social messaging and a sprinkle of regressive and sexist undertones in the love story. But rather than briefly touching upon several of these facets, the movie goes in overkill mode of Mahesh Babu's character lecturing anyone that he finds. His action and mass moments are followed by a long speech about the broken financial system, the inequalities of income and wealth, and how ordinary citizens are getting screwed over by the the influential 1%. The speeches just don't end and at one point of time take the form of an annoying preachy lecture, then really getting their point across. Eventually, the journey to reach there doesn't really seem convincing enough, leading to SVP becoming a mishmash of ideas that lead to the film strictly becoming an average fare meant for only and only Mahesh Babu fans. Mahesh Babu's fans are elite, I'm telling you. I was sitting in a Noida theatre with every smile, every look, every cringe dialogue like Tiger dates are rabbit, how will it be? Miss interest, you'll get the date. Or even a dialogue like I am whale. It leads to hooting and cheering as if he delivered the best line known to Indian cinema. In one scene, Mahesh Babu pushes his finished glass of tea in a recovery agent's throat, only for it to be gulped down. The man starts wondering, how will this glass come out of his body now? Alarmed at thinking about the possibility that what if it was an entire coconut? And if that was the case, then what would be the solution? And then I wondered, and this might be probably true, a Mahesh Babu fan will still remind me in the comments below of this video that this is peak commercial mass cinema that I just don't understand. I'll concede, I guess, in that case. And that was the video, guys. Write down in the comments below what you thought about the movie. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. The handle's right in front of you. Follow me at jammypants4. Also, please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead. Thank you for watching.